Hey Internet, this is Danny, aka Firebrand Flox, and I'm coming at you with a quick tip slash tutorial for EVA foam armor and prop fabrication. Now, if you're like me, you're impatient when it comes to making foam props because you just want to get it done and want to hold it in your hands and be like, ah, I made this. And that's all great and fun and everything. But the problem with that is that if you are also like me, you have shaky hands and you are terrible at hot gluing and making nice, even seams. Now, I've gotten pretty good at getting my seams to line up and filling them in to make them nice and even, and I'll do a video on that one after this video. But a problem I also have is I tend to get a lot of hot glue remnants in visible places after I'm putting the piece, my foam together. It's really easy for the glue to build up because as you're pushing the foam pieces together to try and get them to line up, extra hot glue will spill out if you put on too much. And then I tend to wipe away at it as quickly as I can to get rid of the excess, but that sometimes results in spots like this, which when I hold it to the side, you can see there's all these little bumps. There's all these bumps here showing that this is uneven glue. Now you might be thinking, oh, so what big deal? But actually, it is a big deal because unless you are sealing your foam uh, with a liquid plastic, which I have done in the past, but I can't do with this one because I live in Japan and I can't find that here, uh, you need to somehow get rid of this glue, get it off your armor, um, or else it's going to be visible once you seal and paint it. So, um, so actually, I just experimented and found a really, really easy fix for this. Um, so that way, you're, even when you seal and paint your armor, you're not going to have weird little bumps uh, from where the hot glue has built up. And as I said, it's super easy, and I'll just show you how to do it real quick. So all you need is your foam piece that you have your glue build up, and hot glue gun. That's it. Super easy. And I also recommend gloves. They're not super necessary, but I like to protect my hands. So, I have a pair of just latex dipped work gloves that I got at the local hardware store. And as I mentioned in an earlier video, I like the latex dipped because once the glue dries, you can peel it off. And it is super convenient. So, let me get my gloves on for safety. Okay, and now I have my foam piece that I want to fix. It has that ugly, ugly glue and it's pretty concentrated in one spot so it's not that bad. But still, like, I just want this armor to look as nice as possible because I've been working on it for like a year now. So, all you're going to do is you're going to take your glue gun. And now you don't even need to put your hand on the trigger. You just need to hold it gently and you're going to run your nozzle across the glue. Just like this, you're just going to rub the side of the nozzle across the glue buildup. And you're just going to keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Because with your glue gun plugged in, it heats up uh, to melt the glue stick. And mostly what heats up is the nozzle. The nozzle gets really, really hot from the base of the gun. Um, and melts your glue down, especially if you have a metal nozzle. Um, this one's a plastic nozzle, but it still gets hot. So yeah, you're just going to rub along the sides gently and evenly to melt the glue and basically just spread it out across the armor piece in an even, even coat. So as you can see, I've done this first section and you can barely tell that there was a buildup of glue there. And this buildup was particularly bad, just like lots of big bumps, so it's going to take a little bit longer than most of mine do to even out. But yeah, you just go back and forth gently. don't need to push down too hard on the armor or the glue, um, just enough to even it out. And you don't want to put any more glue on it, so as I said, be careful about putting your fingers on your trigger and putting more glue on, because you really don't need it. So, boop. Okay. So, 
just to show you that build up and glue is way way smoother now um, and I'll keep working at it to make it look a little bit better but way 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 smoother now hardly noticeable um, seam uh, in terms of the hot glue sticking out um, especially once I seal this piece of armor and paint it um, you're really not going to be able to notice that there was ever an excessive buildup of glue so long as you make sure that you use the nozzle to just even out your glue and basically make it as flat of a surface as possible um, and make sure if it's a piece like this which has a raised edge you want to even out that glue on both of the edges um, to make it as nice and even as possible. Okay, so look at that. That is way better from where we started. And it's shiny and it'll stay shiny as it uh, hardens and dries because, well, you just basically melted glue uh, on it and it's going to have that shiny, uh, it's going to have that sheen to it, but that doesn't matter because it's going to get sealed with whatever you're sealing, whether it be plastic dip or white glue or as I said, like if you're using a liquid plastic, which is my preferred method, that'll also cover it up. Um, and then once it's painted, you're not going to notice anything. It's just going to look like it should. Um, no ugly bumps or little peaks of hot glue where you tried to peel it off. Easy, easy fix. So just use that glue gun to fix it. Don't try and pick at it with your hands too much because then you're just going to get holes in your foam. You can get ripped up edges in your foam and that gets ugly because um, that's what I used to do but it just didn't work right. Um, I don't have a piece right here that has those picked up edges but yeah. Super easy fix for built up glue so hopefully that helps you because I could not find a fix for that anywhere and just figured it out so hope that works hope that helps uh, if you liked that video thought it was useful give me that like give me that thumbs up please and if you want to see more videos from me with tips like that and full tutorials on how to make foam armor I'll be making those in the near future so click that subscribe button which is I guess over here all right so thanks a bunch for watching I hope that helped and I hope you have luck and fun with all your costuming. Thanks. See ya.